Education Mobile, quality e-learning experience on the go. Good day and welcome to Fusion Mobile e-learning class. My name is Faya Mikende and today we are taking vowel sounds in English language, precisely the English vowel chart. Earlier in our previous lessons, we discussed little about the vowel sounds, but we did not touch the vowel chart. Now, here on the board is the vowel chart. And the vowel chart is a representation of our tongue. The positions of each vowel sound on the chart shows the position of these sounds when articulated, the position of our tongue in the mouth. Let us take a look at the chart. We have the chart divided into segments. We have the front, we have the center, and we have the back. The sounds that are in the front means that whenever those sounds are articulated, the tongue comes forward. The ones in center means this, the, the tongue remains in the center alignment in the mouth, while the one at the back means that our tongue shifts backwards when articulating the sound. We also have the close, the half close, the half open, and the open. And that is sounds that are produced, vowel sounds that are produced with our mouth open or our mouth closed. We have I, mid, and low. This means the position of the tongue in the mouth, whether the tongue raises from its low position or it lays, it lies flat in the mouth or it is in the middle. Now, these sounds are described and the places where they appear in the mouth in the, uh, while articulating the sounds. We have the E sound, the long E sound, which also, also note that any vowel sound, any of the pure vowel sounds that carries the colon behind it is a long vowel sound. And the ones that do not have the colon behind them are short vowel sounds. Let us try and articulate these sounds and know their positions. We have E, we have E, we have E, we have A, and we have A, we have O, we have O, we have O sound, and we have the long O. We have A, uh, as in love, blood. We have the long A sound, and we have the Schwa sound. In most cases where this sound occur, it functions as the short, the O sound. It functions as the short O sound, and as well functions as the vowel ER. Let us also look at the positions where they appear in the chart, whether front, center, or back. The E, the long E sound and the short E appear in the front position, as well as the A sound. The R sound also appear in the front position, while the O, the long O sound, the O, the short O, and the long O sound appear in the back position. The A, uh, long A, uh, and the schwa sound appear in the center position. The long A uh sound also appear in the center position. Now we are going to look at examples of these sounds in some words. First, let us take the long E sound, as in bead, beat, feed, field, B, beef, bean, C, seas, league, people, rip, etc., etc. The second one is the short E sound, and we have it in words like big, deep, will, wind, ip, ship, is, sin, Beat, pin, market, wanted, women, C, 
state, etc., etc. Let us note the differences or the difference between the long E sound and the short E sound. The, the short E sound, when articulated, comes sharp and with a stop, as in deep, ip. But the long E sound, we have it as beat, feed. You, you prolong the pronunciation of the sound. We have the vowel number three, we have the S sound, as in beg, bed, leg. Trek, letter, net, neck, enemy, tell, bet, belt, etc., etc. The fourth vowel here we have the R. It is the short R sound. And we have it in bat, bag, cat, fan, lad, mad, ankle, fat, rat, battle, rag, fast. Apple, mash, etc., etc. The long R sound can be found in words such as back, bad, cat, star, far, farm, class, Charles, heart, barge, etc., etc. Vowel number six, which is the O sound, the short O sound. We have it in box, dog, duck, cord, cost, cough, hot, jog, shot, etc., etc. The long O sound can be found in words such as ball, cork, core, corp, burn, fall, chalk, floor. Dawn, sports, George, gall, etc., etc. The short O sound can be found in words uh, such as book, boo, bush, cook, good, foot, look, poo, push, woman, foo, sugar, pull, etc., etc. The long O sound can be found in words such as fool, blue, broom, brook, cool, moon, mood, soup, shoot, stool, truth, tomb, shoe, tooth, etc., etc. And the A sound. The A uh, as in love, bunch, but, come, duck, blood, anger, husband, much, mother, such, son, uncle, aunt, etc., etc. Examples of the long air sound as in bird, burn. Dead, bath, dodge, earth, flat, girl, learn, shirt, church, Thursday, virtue, work, stare, etc., etc. And the last pure vowel, which is the O sound. I said it, it also serves, we can also be called the schwa sound and can be found in words that end with in, in ER. Examples include above, actor, brother, better, counter, doctor, father, father, pastor, shower, letter, another, etc etc. These are the pure vowels in the English sound. They are 12 in numbers. They, we have a total of 20 vowel sounds in English alphabet. Eight of them are diphthongs and we are going to be taking a look at the diphthongs now. But before then, 
a few questions are going to pop up on your screen. I advise you to take a look at them and attempt them. Try as much as possible to get these questions correctly. However, if you find it difficult to answer these questions, just rewind the video, look at the examples, how the words are being pronounced and articulated, their manner and places of articulation. Then, you can update yourself on them. Good luck.